Okay. We are recording. All right. So I'm just going to um, go into Avicenna and go into Mumps. Um, and so before I uh, invoke FileMan, I need to set my DZ. Um, and I happen to know that on this system, I am number 68. And tell me quickly what DUZ is. That's my user ID. Okay. That it's a special variable in, in Mumps Vista that holds your user ID. And it's always the same. Um, and so you can, you can actually look yourself up. And I don't remember how to do that. But I'm sure that someone can help us with that. <laughs> Um, so I, I'll, I'll set um, Dominic up with a DUZ uh, and okay. uh, probably okay. won't, won't give him the at sign, though. <laughs> okay. Um, Sorry. <laughs> is, is 68 specific for you? or? Is yeah, that... 68 is Ice Kathy. Okay. So you could you could pretend to be me. There's no security on the system that, that will stop you from doing that, but I would take it as a courtesy if you wouldn't. <laughs> well, I mean, we don't plan on using your development server. We're, we're basically taking the Docker image and throwing it up on Amazon to use for ourselves. But um, I mean, what users are there are in there already? I mean, I think there's a couple. You of can always set the DUZ equal to one. One is like the, the, the Uber programmer. You, you can do everything with that. OK. So um, I, I use 68 because I want for the system to realize that you know, this was Kathy screwing around in here and not somebody who was using DUZ1, which is, I think everybody uses DUZ1, don't they? A uh, lot of people seem to. I use my own DUZ. Um, I have instructions on how to set yourself up and um, as a pro programmer and a in the new person file so that you can get your very own DUZ on uh, the Docker image that you're using. So I will send those to you. It's not hard. Great, thank you. And if you, and if you don't want to do that, you can always use one. So uh, the command to get into um, the uh, file man menu is do q up arrow di. And uh, so then it, 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 it tells me that I'm in file man and it asks me to select my option. Uh, this is a menu. Um, and it doesn't print out all of the menu options because it assumes that I know them. But if I enter a question mark, it will tell me what my options are. In other words, one question mark help. Right. Mm -hmm. um, so if I wanted to uh, enter data into a file, I would choose the first one, which is enter or edit file entries. Um, do I, and I'm trying to think if there's a file that I can mess around with that will we it won't really hurt anything. Do we have one? Well, is there one that's tied to the background form? Uh, Rick says uh, you should use the state file if you want to mess around with one. Okay. Okay. So. Um, I'm going to jump out of here then. So if I enter a jump and up arrow, uh, and 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 or a caret or sh it's shift six, whatever you want to call it, uh, and jump out, that means oh 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 I changed my mind. I don't want to do that after all. So and now I'm back to select option. And if I hit the question mark, I'm back at the main menu. It's like oh you didn't want to do that. Well what do you want to do instead? Um, and so we will try this with the state file. Um, and we will go ahead and edit all fields. Um, so now it's asking me to select, you know, which, which state do I want to edit? And if I give it one question mark, it says, okay, well, you can give me, you can give me a number, a name or an abbreviation. And then it asks, uh, do you want to see the whole list? And if, if there's, if there's only a few, if, if maybe there are only five entries in this file, it would just go ahead and show them all to me. But if there's a lot, it'll say, um, do you really want to see all of them or is, is what I just told you enough? Mm -hmm. um, so uh, no, I don't need to see the whole list. So let's edit Washington State. 
so this is just this is would be editing an entry so this is information that's already in here um, and I'm not going to fool with it it just goes through um, and and the the answer followed by two slashes is the default so and and the default in this case is what's already in here um, so I can just hit enter and say yes I, I accept the default Um, county is a multiple, so there are multiple counties uh, in in the in the county um, field. It, it's a multiple field, so I can go into a specific county, and it's asking me, um, "Do you want to see all of them?" And I say, "Well, no." So I have to answer the whole name or the county code, and I don't know the county code, but luckily I know where I live. So, um, and now it is, now I'm down in the county subfile, and it's giving me the abbreviation and the code, and I'm not gonna muck about too much with this. And now it's asking me, okay, do you wanna look at a different county? And I'm gonna say no. And now, so now we're back up to the to the top level and talking about Washington State again, was capital is Olympia, and, and now we're done. And so I could add a state to the state field, but I would rather not. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm a chicken that way. Okay. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pop back out. We can, um, you know, delete it later, I believe. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's okay. You don't, you don't have to do that. Um... But I mean, certainly, so this was the edit. Um, is there a way to just view, you know, the state of Washington file? Uh, yes. Data? Yes. Um, <laughs> so let's, uh, let's look at inquire. Okay. Inquire to file entries and we'll look at state and whoops. Uh, well, why don't I just abbreviate it then? And it, I can look at as many as I want. So, um, um, so let's pick those three and I will pick standard caption output and then it asks about computed fields and I'll say no for right now. And uh, so now it's, it's giving me one screen worth of information um, and it's, it's, now it's gonna show me all the counties. Okay. And now every time, and now it's showing me California and every time I want to go down, I could just hit enter. And it also, if I'm like, oh, okay, I, this is, I didn't want to look at this. I didn't want to see all this. I can, um, I can always hit the up arrow and say, I'm, I'm just jumping out of here. I don't want to see the rest of it. So um, now inquire to file entries is just, I want to look at an entry and I know um, what entry I want to look at and I don't want to do a search or anything more, more sophisticated than that. Um, we can search. Uh, I don't want to try to demonstrate a search without actually having set something up in advance because <laughs> I'm, I'm a chicken that way. Um, but you can do print, um, which will display. So let's um, display all the states between Washington and Wyoming. Um, and oh, and I say I want to fill, print all the fields, um, and uh, it asked me about the heading. I can I can really custom. You can customize the heck out of these reports. Mm -hmm. um, and now it's asking me for the device. It didn't before because I chose standard caption output, and it's like, well, you're just going to take what you get. But now I can say. Um, I want a, a width of 80 and a length of really, really long. So it's now this time, it's not gonna give me one screen of information and then say press return. It's gonna give me everything. And then I can scroll. So there's Wisconsin. There's West Virginia. And there's Washington. And it didn't pick up Wyoming for reasons that I'm not clear on. Um, 
I I believe it just goes to there. It does not include the um, last include. thing. Yeah. Okay. So that's um, uh, that is print. Um, you can also use search, and there is uh, instructions for using search in the Getting Started manual. Um, or uh, we could set up another time, and I could um, set up more um, examples so that it would be a, a, a better, uh, I'm, I'm a better wondering demonstration. If maybe like the new person file for if we're just going to use inquire to file entries would be a good one to look at because that's kind of like a form. Um, Let's look at me. <laughs> <laughs> so um, this one also asks if I want to display an audit trail, and no, I don't. So um, So that's me. Um, okay. Yeah. This is great. This is very helpful. Um, so I'm curious about like something like the SAMI background form. Um, that'll basically let you iterate through every single field, right? Regardless of what previous answers are. So there's like no conditional, if you answer no to this, then don't answer all these things, right? There is code that you can put in. Um, to some of the fields so that they can behave that way, but that code has not yet been added okay. uh, at, the, at the file man level. You know, we're doing that at the form level. Um, you can do it at the roll and scroll level, but I don't know how, so I didn't. <laughs> That's fine. So, so right now we're directly in file man, right? Yes. Yes, we're in the, we're in the guts. Okay. Yeah, why don't so, we go ahead and um, inquire on uh, the background form 311.11, I think it is. Well, because there aren't any entries, there isn't anything in there. Right, but it should have the field, shouldn't it? Okay. Oh, well, um, inquired. We'd have to actually go to yeah. um, enter or edit. Now you're confusing me. Um, Sorry. That's when, what happens when somebody who only kind of knows stuff. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, let's. Let's see what it would look like to enter a background form. Okay. I don't. Would anyone actually do this besides us? <laughs> um, the, the way that we have it set up now, probably not. Okay. Um, but this is, this is always an option. Right. You know, right. We, could, we could set them up so that it, it's like, hey, you can use the web form, but if you really want to get in and, you know, do OG 1982 style, we, you know, you, you, you totally can. Right, right. And is there supposed to be an actual form inside Vista for, for the background form? Or no. Is that for? No, this is it. Um, okay. what, what, what Vista has inside of it is uh, there is, uh, aside from roll and scroll, there is a, um, a screen man, which is a, a screen mode. Um, and, and some uh, applications have uh, invoked screen mode. Uh, and some haven't. In fact, actually, let me, I'm going to pop out of here. Um, if I choose to modify the file attributes, it actually asks me, do you want to use screen mode? And I usually say no, because the thing with screen mode is it, uh, it was developed in the 1980s, I think, and it uses the uh, command keys, which most keyboards don't have anymore, so they have to be mapped to something, and I can never remember what they've been mapped to. So it's actually kind of difficult to navigate and make the screen mode uh, form do what you want it to. Okay, so, so for all the forms we're doing for this project, we're just doing basic roll and scroll in the web interface, right? Thus far, yes. Um, I, I don't really foresee a need to do a screen man version. That's that's kind of betwixt in between, and and probably nobody would like it. So, um, I, I don't. Okay. I don't see a reason why we would do that. At some point, we might do a CPRS um, template. I would think, uh, if we can get the right permissions and authorizations. But that would be down the road because of the way that. Because of VA politics. 
Okay. So would you guys call roll and scroll basically the equivalent of direct access to file man? And that's kind of um, what I'm, I'm sure there's more to it than that. Yeah. The, the the way that I'm doing it, it is direct access to FileMan because, as as Rick pointed out earlier, we didn't actually create a form. Um, so, if we created a form, it would look almost identical to this. Um, the difference being that uh, there would be a few more. Um, there would be a few more protections if you're if you're going to turn this over to ordinary end users. Um, I'm I'm in God mode basically. I can do whatever I want in here, and and you you wouldn't really give that to an end user. Okay. But it would look a lot like this. The look and feel would be very similar. So um, I I think that that can probably work for a, a basic introduction. I would encourage you to uh, read the. Uh, the getting started, the file man getting started manual, because I was actually able to, you know, come up with better examples in there. <laughs> and if we want to maybe create some some files that we can just screw around with, um, just just for the sake of learning file man, not even for the sake of, of testing what's been done already, um, we could probably do that. Or we there we may be able to um, figure out a way to to put in some some test data into some of the uh, files so that there's data in there that we can test on. I'm not really sure what our next steps are. Okay. Uh, is there anything else that you wanted to see right away? No, no, this is this is fantastic. Uh, thanks for taking the time to do it. Sure, no problem. So I think we can probably stop the recording, Linda, and um,